one of us has a secret inner world that we don't want anyone else to see. And we think if people find out who we really are, they won't stick around. So we make our way through life trying to hide our vulnerabilities. The problem is, that's a lot harder than it sounds. And sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't. But at the end of the day, we're all just trying to do the best we can. Take me, for example. I pretend to know what I'm doing, but I am so far from figuring out what life is all about. A couple things I want to talk about. Logistical, formative, alliances. Absolutely. Let alone what yeah. this guy is trying to say. But I do know I have to land this account to get my promotion, or my future could very well end up looking like that. Chuck, you got anything you add? You're good? All right, Chuck's good. The point is, unfortunately, um, after rebranding, these products are just incompatible, and and our our, our clientele they just sorry they can't pay. Uh, Doug. Yes. Um, I don't want to just so the I'm just uh, just recap the situation. Okay, a little recap, Chuck. Let's see what you got. Recapping. Okay, this is what we got. We don't like your prices. My pricing. Yes. I don't. But I, I don't price anything. <laughs> okay, we're we're done. Wait, I think no, we're it's time I, to go. Hold on, I just have two points to make. Um, <sighs> Panda Prime is an organic energy drink. Panda is a marketing phenomenon. The Panda character is known around the world, and that slogan, "Don't pause." has made it into the dictionary. We are offering Shoreview Cruises an exclusive opportunity to join with this premium, world-famous brand. When customers buy Panda Prime, they are saying that they will settle for nothing but the best. They expect the best from their energy drink, they expect the best from their cruise, and they expect the best from themselves. <sighs> I, um, I hate to burst your bubble. That was a great speech. That was really, really, really good speech, but have you seen our clientele? Right behind me, right over here. Take a look at them. And I don't want to say we're proud, but we're not ashamed. Look, when Panda customers open this can, they're saying who they are. They're making a statement. I am asking Shoreview Cruises to make that same statement. Tell my boss. Hey, 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 how'd it go? It was a certifiable disaster. I realize this is my third job in four years. Sweetie, I'm I'm sorry. And I'm boarding soon. Remember. Thousands of people fly every day. Yeah. It's like safer than lying down in bed. Great. I'll remember that when I'm sleeping tonight. Excuse me. Can I? Thank you. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? I'm 32 up. Hasn't been your day, has it? How about an upgrade to first class? Really? Cheers. Cheers. Uh, yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm here. Uh, somebody thought I was talking to them. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys uh, next month. Excuse me, ma'am. It sounds unacceptable. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, good evening, sir. Hi. Hi. 
Would you be interested in um, the new business class lounge at JFK? Oh, no, thanks. Oh, my God. Is that normal? Oh, my God. Do we need something? We're currently experiencing some slight turbulence. Please remain seated until the captain has turned off the fastened seatbelt sign. This is your captain. Oh, We're going to be oh, in the air for a big oh, Yeah, what do you think they're gonna say? They're not gonna say, this is it, you're all gonna die. That will make everyone freak out. This is it, the I haven't done anything in my life. I haven't done anything. I haven't climbed a mountain. I've never had kids. I've never got a tattoo. I don't even know if I have a G-spot. I Excuse think me? that I'm someone that I don't have one of those. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I just say that? That's OK. You keep talking. <laughs> named Artemis. She got a promotion over me, and so I water stupid spider plant with orange juice. I wish that I could pee standing up. I wish that I knew what it was like to have a penis. <laughs> Every single time I hear demons by Imagine Dragons, I cry instantly. Even thinking about it makes me cry. And my boyfriend, Connor, he's obsessed with jazz. Oh. And he's used to all these jazz concerts. And I pretend to like it, but I hate jazz. <laughs> I hate jazz. And, and Connor does this really weird thing with his tongue. But I told him that it was amazing. And then my whole body opened up like a flower. Uh, and he asked, uh, What kind of flower? So he said, Begonia? I don't think that I've ever really been in love. And I don't think anyone's ever really loved me. I just want, like, this huge, amazing romance, like this, like, earthquake. Like, if I could just... Excuse me? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome what? to New York City. Sorry, we, uh, we landed. What? If you shift baggage, you can pick it up and carry Turbulence on. stopped, like, a half hour ago. Why didn't you tell me that? We hope you enjoyed your Seems time. Seems like you had a few things to get off your chest. <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, my God. Okay. I have to go. Oh. Turbulence. Turbulence? No, I got your text that said no, we're in a death spiral. I'm not gonna make it. Know that I lose for you. I mean, I, I know what that meant. I just want to go home. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait. Oh, oh, Emma. I don't know what I'd do without you. I, I've been thinking, I've been thinking that it's time that we take our relationship to the next level. Emma. We should move in together. Well? OK. <laughs> oh. Oh, you're very sad. OK. OK. Yeah, that's OK. It's OK, baby. It's OK. Let's go in, let's go in the car. Let's go in the car. Jeez, how bad is the flight? <laughs> there you go. Quiet. a quiet, safe place to cry. Chelsea's in. die in each other's arms. Oh, shit. I can't believe I get to wake up to this every morning. What? When you move in. Oh, yeah, right. Espresso? Oh, yeah. Oh, pronto. Do, 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 do. I got this new Colombian blend. It is to die for. Yeah? Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. Guess what I got tickets for? The Bjorn Sorensen Quartet. Wow. It's going to be their last show of the year. That's great. Almost forgot the saucers. But we need them, because if you spill on the bed, I will be very upset. 
<laughs> Here comes the espresso train. Choo choo. Madame. Thank you. Fruit. A lot of nut. A lot of nut in this. Ooh. That's smooth. I'll see you at the office. I've got to do a two. Do, 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 do. Ah! It was up till midnight caulking her tub. Uh, she's not using me, is she? Well, of course she's using you. She's just looking for a free handyman. Yeah, I should have realized. She asked me on our first date if I had plumbing or roofing experience. I have the worst taste in women. No, no, you don't. It's not your fault. I mean, how are you supposed to know? There's no way to know. I'm not going to cry at work. I'll be there for you if you really need to. But let's do it privately this time. What the heck is going on? Hey, Nick. What's going on? Jack Harper's visiting. Who? Are you serious? No, he only co-founded the company you work for. I thought he had a breakdown after Pete Lather died. Well, looks like he's back in the game. That's gotta be him. Yeah, that's gotta be him. Are you being sarcastic? Shh. Corrigan! Okay, stay strong. Good luck. Hi. Did you forget to take your meds or something? No. I'm just trying to understand the phone call I just got from Chicago. I mean, is this some kind of psychotic break that we're dealing with? Is this a manic state, some Kanye at the White House shit? What the fuck happened to Shortview? Nothing. View? Did you really pour a drink on Doug Hamilton? No, it was like a tiny little bit of spray. Like, I was gesticulating with the can. I was passionate about the, the product, and I just were was you like, do gesticulating. Were you doing this in the meeting? I just, it sh got shook up. Stop doing that with your hand. It just was like that much, though. Shh. OK. Just clean up your desk. What? You're firing me? I Learn to listen, Corrigan. I said clean it up, not out. Jack Harper will be here in a few minutes. And if you spill Panda Prime on him, then you're fucking gone. I'm not gonna spill. Hey, everyone. Listen up! This is an informal visit, nothing more. Mr. Harper will come in, maybe talk to one or two of you. So act normal. Not a really great meeting for you, was it there, Emma? Savage. Sybil's not really liking you today. <laughs> okay, everyone, he's on the floor. So go by your everyday task. Now. <sighs> Jack. Everyone, may I have your attention, please? It is my distinct honor and pleasure to introduce our founding father, the man who has influenced and inspired an entire generation of marketers, the inimitable Jack Harper. Thank you, Sybil. Everybody. And who's this? Ah, this is Emma Corrigan, one of our junior marketing assistants. Hi, Emma. Hello, Mr. Harper. It's very nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. Show the man who you are. <laughs> and what, what do you do, Emma? I work in the marketing department. Emma was just in Chicago on business. We try to give our junior staff responsibility as early as possible. It's a great idea. I could use a coffee. How's, how's the coffee here? The coffee is absolute poison. It's freaking terrible. Delicious. That's great. Good to hear. And this is Artemis Harrington, one of our brightest young executives. Hi, sir. Hi. Oh, oh my goodness. You okay? <laughs> yes. Bonjour. Oh, you're, you're French. Two percent. Well, um, I like your I like your spider plant. Thank you, sir. 
it's um, it's very healthy. And this is Nick. <laughs> he is another one of our junior marketing Hi, executives. Nick. Mr. Harper, nice to meet you. Call me Nicky. Um, well, I'm sure I'll get to meet all of you at some point and uh, look forward to getting to know some of you a little bit better. Right this way, Jack. Au revoir. You're from Pittsburgh. Hi. Hi. So. <laughs> so. <sighs> what a coincidence. It's good to see you again. Yeah. How are you? I'm, I'm good. How are you? Good. The world works in such mysterious ways. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't it? It does. Yeah. So, Jack, Harp, Mr. S Harper. In my defense, I had no idea who you were, so I don't think that I should be penalized. You, you don't think I should penalize you? Is that how you pronounce it? Pen penalized? It's a penalty flag, not a penalty flag. Right, now that you say it, penalized. It's weird, it's not. <laughs> I, I, it's I, like I, penis, I, sorry. Neither of us are wrong. You're gonna fire me, please don't fire me. I'm gonna like- I'm not gonna fire you. Great, great, thank you. But I am gonna ask for a favor. I would really like it if nobody knew that I was in Chicago. Do you think we could keep that between us? Yeah. Yeah? Of course, of course. You haven't told anybody? No, no, I'm like a steel trap. Like nothing goes in and nothing comes out. Well, stuff goes in. It's like, like one of these, you know? It's like a Venus fly trap. Like you get in there and then you die in there. And like, so it all goes in and it dies in here. I feel very safe. Good, and the yeah. same thing goes for you though. Like, everything I said. Dies with me, to the grave. So, we're both dying with each other's secrets. Yes. <laughs> That's quite intimate. <clears throat> so, you've really never been in love? Did I say that? No, I did I might have. Oh, I mean, I mean, who really even knows what love is? No one has any goddamn idea what love is on this entire planet. And I'll tell you that as a fact. Mm -hmm. Let's see. You're home. You're home early. Oh, hi. 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 This Sorry. is um, this is Omar. Hi. Um, hi. Emma, my roommate. Hi. Pleasure to meet you. Hi. Yeah, you mm -hmm. too. Omar and I were just reviewing some case notes. Cool. That's mm -hmm. fun. Yeah, it's fun, but it's work, and we're yeah. we're just swamped at work, aren't we? Of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, I think we got to a good place. We can pick it up tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. I should be going now. See you, now. See you okay. Nice meeting you. Yeah, you too. Yeah. Have a really good day. Okay. Wow. So. He's new. He's, yeah, I'm kind of showing him the ropes. Great. Yeah. Great. He's like kind of ripped for a lawyer. Is he? You didn't notice that? Well. That he was attractive? Yeah, I guess he is. I guess he is. I just see him so much at work. I guess I'm used to, like, his physique. Totally. I believe you. That looks good. Yeah, you look like you need it. Is there a man here? I thought I, like, smelled a presence or something. He left. Yeah. He's my co-worker. <sighs> Did you finish the quiz? Yeah. What quiz? It's this article. It says the proportions of beauty have always been the same, so you can figure out how beautiful you are, scientifically. What'd you get? I'm a 33. Out of what? A hundred. That's ridiculous. I think 33 is pretty good for you, scientifically. Gemma, what did you get? 
89. And that's without all this. That's so dumb. You are so stunning. That's insanity. Whatever. I'm going to a bris. <sighs> Night, ladies. No shoes in the apartment! God, that outfit is hideous. You're not gonna believe what happened today. What? You remember that guy? The guy from the plane? The one he spilled your guts to? Mm-hmm. He showed up at work today. Like stalking you? No, he's the top guy at the company. Oh, no. Yeah. Wait, I thought that guy died. Mm-mm. No, that's the other guy. But this guy fell apart after Pete died. They were like brothers. Anyway, I told him all of my secrets. Like, I told him everything about me. I told him about the begonia. And I told him about Danny Nussbaum. He lasted for 17 seconds. I counted. Oh, my god. So what? He knows a few things about you. So what? You don't have any secrets from me, though, do you? I had a sex dream about my best friend and roommate, Lissy. It's like in there now. <sighs> no, of course not. So when are you gonna move in with Connor? Um, I don't know. He's still in his pantsless face? He is still. Hmm. Connor's great. Things like things aren't, they're, they're not that romantic anymore. I think that's normal for things to kind of slow down and fade out a little like that, but that doesn't mean you can't spice it up. How? What about doing it at work? With him? Like, Connor would, I don't. It was just a suggestion. I don't know. Again? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Okay. okay. I'm gonna. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Thank you. Everyone, Jack will be observing what we do, see how we operate as a team. And before I forget, thank you, team, for coming out to last week's family picnic. It truly meant the world to me. And it was an incredible opportunity for us to meet each other's families and to have what I like to call. Good old fashioned fun. Don't fucking embarrass me. Uh, you can just ignore me. Really, I'm, I'm not here. Hi. Yes, this is Artemis Harrington in marketing. Uh huh. Um, Emma? Can you get me the uh, Costco brochure, please? Faster. My assistant's reading that. I can't reach that. I just. Yeah, I still can't reach it. Thank you so much. That's my girl. Don't know what we would do without her. I will have this sent over to you right away. Au revoir. Um, is it always this quiet? You know, when Pete and I were starting out, we talked about everything. Um, you know, what we were watching, what we were listening to, what we were reading. <gasps> oh! D yeah? I am devouring a biography on Queen Mary I of England, also known as Bloody Mary. Wow. Yeah, she was, she was a feisty one. I'm in the middle of a history of 14th century tapestries. Nice. It's uh, invigorating. Uh, what about you, Emma? Mm -hmm. Weren't you reading Great Expectations in your little book club? I could not get through it. I could not get through it. So I just skimmed the back cover. <laughs> mm -hmm. What's uh, what, what'd you what do you think? You know, I I actually it really resonated with me. Which part? Exactly, resonated. Um, the resonances. The 
resonance has resonated. I'm gonna, I have to get back to work. I'm yeah, no, really please. busy. Yeah, mm. okay. Sir. <laughs> Too bad. Uh, Casey, Mr. Harper. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. Just a fly on the wall. Uh huh. Proceed. Okay. Don't, don't proceed. Uh, I just, I, I just, I just came to ask him if she wanted to go over some numbers with me. Casey comes and he asks me if I want to go over the numbers, but what he really means is, can we go sneak out and get some coffee? I'm so busy right now. I'm really, I'm. This I is a, a two-person number job. Can't do it on my own, so. Come on. Last time, I was sort of, I was like a hindrance. No, you're the so you're a human calculator. Casey is what you just, want. That's, I think you should get started on that. I, 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 I think you should go over the numbers. You think you knew, Harper, about our little system? He's, uh... He's handsome, hmm? Yeah, he's like boy band handsome. He's tall, he's rich. I hate him. Jesus, Mr. Harper, <laughs> uh, sir. Uh, how those numbers work out? I, um, I don't want, I don't want to, I, I'll take it. Uh, you know, that's, uh, I'm gonna take the stairs so I can. <laughs> Come on in. You know, when we were starting out, Pete and I, we uh, we had a code. One of us would ask the other to bring him the Leopold file. The, the Leopold file? Yeah. It didn't exist. It was just uh, an excuse to get away from our desk. Hey. <gasps> Mr. Harper. Hi, I, I, I'm. I'm Jack Harper. Jack, uh, you're Jack Harper. I'm Connor Martin, market research. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm on my way to your presentation. Oh, oh, oh I, I am so excited. Well, I, I can't wait. <sighs> oh, you two are an item, correct? Uh, yes. Do you just sense this, sense this stuff? No, or? no, no. Um, have you ever found Emma's presence here distracting? Oh, no, no, sir. I, I, I promise that when Emma and I are at work, she, she, we are nothing. We are nothing. I, we might as well be two eunuchs. Take our parts, put them in a separate drawers, leave them until 5 p.m. Great. <sighs> okay. Uh, Emma, why don't you join us? Okay, thank you so much for joining me today for my presentation on the evolving demographics of Panda Bites. As you know, Panda Bites has been doing Badly, very badly. But we are hoping to maybe turn that around with uh, some of the data that we have gathered. So the first thing that you should know is that we have discovered that our target demographic is... Millennials! Uh -huh. Let's look at a typical millennial. Okay, thank you so much. I think we get the picture. Um, so th this is a millennial. We um, interviewed 1,000 of them from all across the country, and we asked them about various aspects of Panda Bites. What we learned is that our, our target demo is 18 to 35. Uh, 
Uh, they drink Panda Prime four times a day. They eat organic when it's available. They go out to restaurants on the weekends. When they ride on the train, they try to avoid making eye contact with people. Most of them would have bought tickets to the Fire Festival, and most of them would have been very upset when they found out that the Fire Festival wasn't actually <clears throat> something. Are you? Wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what we know about the demographic of the uh, millennial. Uh, we're looking forward to uh, investing more resources and trying to get them to eat panda bites. Does anyone um, have anything to say about this? I actually... Um, Corrigan, then, great. My grandpa and his friends are obsessed with panda bites. They eat them, like, three times a day. Um, so I thought, I don't know, maybe we could ask them why. Maybe there's something there that's not being accurately portrayed in all of the data. But your grandpa is not our target demographic. I mean, does this guy look like a grandpa? Yes. From the... I think what Connor is trying to say is that Panda Bites isn't performing. So we need to ax that. If we are going to maximize concept innovation, then we need to focus mm -hmm. on strategic competency. Could you, um, yes. could you say that again? Absolutely, sir. Um, uh, not like a Harvard professor. <laughs> <laughs> From a, a strategic... Without using the word strategic. We should focus on what we do good, well. Great. Like, yes. Perfect. Yes. I don't need to single you out, and I appreciate what you're doing, all of you. It's a lot. But Pete used to say, sometimes you just got to kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> That's what I would like us to do as a company. I thought you were saying we should kiss. <laughs> thank you so much. No. Thank you very much. Ladies, thank you for your input. Thank you. Appreciate it. So, uh, Artiste, that's actually pretty good. Is he the one? I know what you're thinking, and you're wrong. You sure? Yes. Are, are you convincing me or yourself? Why are you standing like that? I want you to look at my body. Do you have like a rash or something or? No, I don't have, I want to look attractive for you. I, I thought there was some emergency. There is. Hey. We never make love spontaneously anymore. Oh. When, did, when did we ever? Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. Come on. Oh. Make love to me You're right here, crazy. right now. No. What? No, no what maybe I, I am crazy. Like. Isn't love supposed to make you a little bit crazy? Like, you know, take off on a Thursday crazy, not, not this. <laughs> Emma, 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 stop. What? Stop. I'm so sorry, I didn't. Yeah, let's just not talk just... about it. <sighs> I was just trying to get the spark back. Spark? What, what spark? Oh my God. I've been so stupid. Yeah, you think? Sex in the archive room? Connor, this isn't working out. What did you expect? No, not this, just everything. This us, I don't think we're, we're working. You're joking, right? Oh. You're breaking up with me. Yeah. Because, because I, I wouldn't have sex with you in the archive room. No, that's not why. It's a bunch of reasons. I'm everything a, a woman could want. I listen. I perform Connellinkus. I opened up your world to jazz. I'm a catch, okay? I know. Yeah, I'm really sorry. Two, two, two seconds ago, my, my wiener was out 
in my place of business. Well, I don't and now know. Now you don't want to be with you me anymore. You put your ass out everywhere else. I don't know what the big deal about doing it in the empty archive no, room. No, no. I put my ass out in my home, at the gym, at the doctors, and at a certain yoga class that I take that is very specific, welcoming, and supportive. That's too many places, Connor. You only call me. If you would have acted like the perfect couple for long enough, you would have become the perfect couple. Yeah, but we wouldn't have been happy. You would have been the perfect couple. That is happy. Everyone pretends in a relationship. Well, maybe they shouldn't. Are you joking? Being honest is so overrated. My parents have been married over 30 years, and my dad still thinks my mom is a natural blonde. And she's Asian. That's so sad. Not that she's Asian. Relationships should be based on truth yeah. and trust. <sighs> I give up. I'm going to a baby shower. <clears throat> I really can't believe it, but it turns out that those wrestlers they're actors, and that they're not actually fighting each other. Uh -huh. Yeah, I've been watching it for hey, years Nick. at that point. Yeah. Hey, um, hi. Hi. Um, Panda Bites is your account, right? <sighs> until they get the boot. Right, well, until then, can I just have, like, a tiny little bit of the marketing budget to put a two-for-one ad in a magazine? Where? Um, Bowling Monthly. Yeah, I have a theory to test. <sighs> Look, I think that we've been targeting the wrong demo. Like, I'm telling you, my grandpa and his friends, they're obsessed with panda bites. Someone's <laughs> obsessed with their grandpa. <laughs> I'm going. Nick, please. I don't know. I won't tell anyone what happened at Chuck's retirement. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. Thank you. Corrigan, Jack Harbour's assistant called, wants you to bring the Leopold file to his office. Uh, yeah, guys, I'm gonna say that you're way off base on this one. Jan, I'm gonna go ahead and hand this over to you. Okay. Thank you. Hey, uh, come in. What does this look like to you? That. Mm hmm Panda and a cockroach. It's actually ovaries with some panda eyes. So, okay. yeah. Would you buy this if it was on a product of some kind? Is it a product f for my ovaries? No, it's not. No, that's the right answer. That's the right answer. Yeah, it's terrible. Anyway, hi. Hi. Um, I brought you the, the Leopold file. You made an actual Leopold file? Yeah. Well, I didn't want, if I dropped it, I didn't want anyone to see that there was nothing in there, so. <laughs> From the office of Ernest P. Leopold, 6,000 cases of Panda Prime. Wow, that's, that's quite the customer. May I add that I am delighted with all aspects of your company and have taken to starting my day with a bowl of Panda Pebbles, which is the best cereal I've ever had. Yep. Wow, this is, <laughs> this is amazing. Pete would have, he would have loved this. Thank you. Of course. Um, do you wanna, do you wanna sit down? So, um, um, I, I heard you and Connor broke up. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry, are, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I think, you know, it's for the best. It'll be good to be single. Right. Mm. Right, yeah. Um, yeah, sure. Okay. Um, well, I guess 
it, maybe now is not the best time to ask. Um, what? Well, I was, I was, I was wondering if you wanted to. Um, uh, I, I was gonna I, I, ask. Date? I. I was gonna say dinner, but sure, yeah. Uh, would you Would you want to? Yeah, sure. How's tonight? Okay. All right. Um, okay. Great. 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 Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Uh. Bye. <laughs> Lissy. Oh. Lissy, please. No. Please, well, no. Please, I need to impress him. I can't think of anything else. The coot. The key shall not be transferred to any non-member under any circumstances. Please, I will owe you big time. Like, I will love you forever, and I will cook you okay, stop. dinner for Just two years. Stop. It's making me grind more. Thank you. Don't I love lose you. it. Thank you. I won't. I won't. And I'm going to do the same thing for you when I'm the member of an exclusive club. Thank I you. promise. That's where it was the whole time? In the cork bowl? Yeah. While under our noses. That's it? Why is it so small? I don't know. Just show it at the door. Wait, do you remember the password? Blake. Chad. Chad! Of course, I knew it was like a douchey name. Is that him? Hey! hey. Sorry, I know I'm early. I just, I, I hate being late and I didn't know traffic. I do that all the time, too. Really? Yeah. Anyway, I'm not totally ready. Do you want to wait here and then? Oh, um, well, I can just wait. I can just wait with you. Yeah. If that's OK. Yeah, sure. Yeah, totally. OK. Come on, then, please. After you. Hey. Um, so this is my um, roommate and best friend, Lizzie. Hi. It's Toots. Jack. Nice to meet you. Oh, hi, Toots. Oh, uh, roommate. I've uh, heard a lot about you. Hot girl. Yes. Did you know that I grind my teeth? <laughs> no, it's a genetic condition, so oh. that's why. I didn't expect you to. Oh no, it's okay. It's, so. it's nice Daddy, to meet you. Thank you. Yeah, you too. So this is your world, huh? Beacon's closet. Oh, cool. Wow, it's uh, bright. <sighs> that is the happiest dog I think I've ever seen. Right? Is she actually smiling? Yeah. Dog smile. Who? Adopt, don't shop. That one does. <laughs> wow. Sorry about that. Putting it on do not disturb. There, for emergencies only. All right, well, I'm ready, if you're ready. Yeah? OK, great. Let's go. Great. Bye, Toots. Bye, guys. I know your itinerary. <laughs> yeah, it's just, you know, weird street. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, an evening out Emma style. What is this? I mean, what does this look like? Well, I thought it could be spontaneous, uh, you know? Yeah. Uh, can I talk to Chad? Um, Chad? Chad? Uh, the key. I know it's small, um, but can is Ch Chad to come in? Chad? Is it? Uh, are you sure this is the right address? Hold on. I'm. It's. This is just. I'm just gonna ask. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I was just, is this not a bar? This, do you know if there's a bar nearby? You want a drink? You lose deputy dipshit. You know what, I think we're good. Yeah, I no, think we're, I think he loses dipshit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. Thank you so Thank much, you. sir. Maybe we'll Thank come you. Back. I... 
could have sworn it was here. It's like this really cool club. It's so cool. And like tons of celebrities go there and it's just like, I thought this was where it was. <laughs> um, okay, well, do you want me to call a car? No, 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 don't. It's, uh, I mean. <sighs> All right, we'll find um... it. <sighs> Somehow. Are you hungry? I'm starving. Yeah? Yeah. Do you like falafel? Mm. Oh. What? Oh. oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Here, I don't, I'm, I want to be helpful. <laughs> well, here, I'm I, abandoning um, it. I don't blame you. God, I haven't been here in so long. Pete used to drag me out this way a lot. I guess since he's passed, I, uh... But... It's nice to be here again. And for a night that... didn't go according to plan. <laughs> went sort of wrong. <laughs> <laughs> this is, uh... So embarrassing. No. No, it's, uh... No, it's perfect. Hmm. It's okay. Back to Chicago. Yeah. Okay. Is everything all right? It's just complicated. Well, maybe I can help. Like, I'm really, really good at giving advice. Like, I'm way better at giving advice than taking advice. <laughs> I just, like, can't. I understand if we have to leave. No. Like, I wanted to... I wanted to spend an evening with you, and... and that's what I'm doing. Any woman. Yeah, but I want you. <laughs> that was so douchey. No. What I meant to say <laughs> is maybe you're not the only one looking for an earthquake. How do you remember that? I mean, you remember everything that I said on the plane. Like, why would someone like you be interested in my boring little life? Emma, you, you are anything but boring. Ever since you started talking on that plane, I was gripped. You were gripped? I was gripped.
That is a hell of a trick. <laughs> You're like the most successful person that I have ever met in real life. And you're like so hot and, and handsome and charming. And you have rock hard abs. Okay, okay. It's ridiculous. <laughs> like you were made in a lab. <laughs> I'm just entirely flawed. That's not true. And I am not flawless, I promise you. Yes, you are. I am not. Name one defect, one blemish. You have none. Okay, well, <laughs> um, actually, no. Um, what? Uh, what? Okay, okay, fine. I'm I'm gonna tell you something, but it. You have to promise you will not tell anybody. Okay. I. I have syndactyly. What? It's. Only sometimes contagious. What? Okay, I'm just. It's a. It's a joke. It's a... What is that? It's, just, it's a joke. What is that? Just, okay, calm down. Calm down. Just, I'm calm. Just, just... You can't just, just bring something like that on just, me. Just, just... Just look. What? What are we looking at? My foot. Oh, thank God. <laughs> that skin flactily? <laughs> no, it's syndactyly. It's, uh, it's, it's not a webbed feet situation. It's like a two-headed toe. Look, it's you not... You have it's just, webbed it's one, feet. It's one toe. It's Jack oh, Harper toes, has it's webbed toe. feet. No, I don't. I have. Oh my god. If I... Jack Harper is deformed. You just... Jack Harper no. is hideous. No. Jack Harper is a hideous beast. It's all been a lie. <laughs> <laughs> that I didn't have with Connor. He's interested in me. It's amazing. That's hideous. Okay, dating 101, never let a man know your feelings. Didn't your mom teach you anything? Well, it's too late. He already knows absolutely everything. Okay, well, he'll never respect you. Oh, sure he will. I'm trying to get the shot, trying to get the well, shot. Well, I'm trying to give her the shot. sherry. This is a disaster. Unless... What? You use it to get that promotion. What? Are you kidding me? I would never do that. Ugh, I'm washing my hands with this. I have to go meet my grandma for dinner. Oh, and don't even think about borrowing any of my clothes. Okay. Oh my God, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Taller than usual. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay, so then what? So then I went around to the side of the house and I ate the entire pig. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, wow. <laughs> fucking thing work. <laughs> <laughs> so how'd you and Pete Ladler start Panda? Um, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I like this one. You will gain new insights this week. Huh. I like that. Oh, here's one for you. You will learn to share yourself with others. Mm. Mm. When I was growing up, I took it for granted that I would always love myself. But sometimes I feel like
like I haven't done enough to deserve it. That's really scary. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm crying. I told you that. Mm, hey, you deserve it. Lucy! I'm in love! Oh, no. Oh, no. Lucy? Are you here? We weren't having sex. Okay. No, we weren't. Sure. No, I... Th we were dancing. What? <gasps> what are you wearing? What do you mean? Why, this is what dancers wear. I am in this group. Um, just a bunch of lawyers uh, got together and we formed a dance group. Dancing lawyers. Yeah. And one judge. That's great. I don't know why you didn't tell me that. Because you would laugh? No. <laughs> well, I'm really relieved I didn't see you having sex. Yeah, me too. But it's also really a shame, because I thought we were both having sweaty, passionate marathon sex. What? Twice. Last night, and once this morning. And I'm in love with him. I love him. Wow, mm -hmm. whoa. Has he told you anything about himself? No. Why are you lawyering me? Stop. Okay. I'm just curious whether he's sharing himself with you. Look, I know that he's like a really private person, but I think he's gonna start opening up because I opened up first. Men and women, they should just be honest with each other right from the start. Like all of this being aloof and mysterious stuff, it's total bullshit. Like, everyone should just tell their secrets to each other right away. Okay. Toots knows. Right, Toots? People! Jack Carp is about to do an interview, and we're all going to watch from the conference room. Now. I'm joined by Jack Harper, who founded Panda Prime with Pete Ladler in 2010. Those guys were just 25 when the company went public, and Pete was always the outgoing type. But you were the man behind the scenes, but no more, my friend. Tell me. How did things change after he died? Um, uh, it, was, it was really tough uh, for all of us. We, we used to do this together. Um, but I'm, I'm enjoying work again. I'm finding new inspiration. You've taken the organic energy food market by storm. And now I hear you're looking to get into women's health. Well, we, we plan on a full line of products, um, starting with some amazing supplements. We want to continue our mission of getting affordable, organic products into the mainstream. All right, who's your target market? Just the girl on the street. How can 
Amanda, tap into that girl on the street. Well, uh, well we, we like to think, and I like to think I know something about that girl. Go mm -hmm. on. Um, you know, we're surrounded these days by these perfect and polished and airbrushed images and ideas of women. But this girl, she's, um, she's real. She hates high heels. She'd rather go barefoot. You know, she, she chews her gum without shame. She's not afraid to drink wine out of the bottle. She likes clothes, but she's not fashion forward. Maybe she wears a pair of jeans with a flower in her hair. She reads a dozen horoscopes and then chooses which one to believe. She loves animals, especially the ones that no one else wants. Oh my God, it's Emma. She loves ABBA, but she hates jazz. She scans the bags of classics and then pretends that she's read them. I knew you had never read Great Expectations. <laughs> she cries every time that she hears Demons by Imagine Dragons. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, she wow. sleeps with a My Little Pony bedspread. Oh, my God. She has fears and worries and deep insecurities. <laughs> and she doesn't feel like she deserves love. I'm sorry. I, uh, I got carried away. We can edit some of that out, right? We're live, so nope. Jack Harper, thank you for joining us. Are you screwing Jack Harper? Emma. This is my kingdom come. This is my kingdom come. When you feel my heat, look into my eyes. It's with my demons high. It's with my demons high. Don't forget to When the days are cold and the cards all fold and the saints we see are all made of I can't imagine what you're going through right now. I've never been so humiliated. Everyone was laughing at me. What did I say? Never let a man know anything about you. I you know. Mm -hmm. You're right. I just should have kept my mouth shut and none of this would have happened. Oh my God, it's him. Don't pick up. No, answer it, otherwise he'll think he won. I don't ever want to talk to you or see you or hear you or taste you or touch you ever again. Yes, bitch, step into your power. All right, now it's time to get even. I don't know, I don't. Come on, just do, do something like um, key his car or shred his suits or something, just a, a little something to just like send him a message. You know, instill that fear in him. If you want to get back at him, just reveal his secrets. That's, that's actually a really good idea. I don't know any of his secrets. You don't know any of them? Lizzie was right. Our relationship was completely one-sided. Like, he knew everything about me and I knew nothing about him. Noth nothing at all? No. He has, like, he has skin lackfully. What? Skin lackfully. It's like webbed feet. Like, two toes fused together. Oh, yeah, I, I get it, I get it. I get it. But it's, he still has his toes, they're just like. It's yeah, just like a hoof. It's not right. A yeah, kind of like a hoof. Sort of. It's, it's a deformity. 
You can't make fun but of that. But it's fine because you just wear socks. Mm. Like a special sock? No, no. Okay. Normal. Anything else? Nothing. What? He was in Chicago. Chicago. Okay. He didn't want me to tell anyone, and he was like very, very adamant that I not tell anyone. And I overheard him say something about like um, a plan B. Wait, that's that's it. Chicago. Plan B. Yeah. Okay. Not exactly a kill shot. <laughs> I'm so sorry. The whole thing was just so... <sighs> you okay? I mean, if I had gone through what you went through with everyone seeing and knowing all that, I would just wither away to my death. I would literally figure out a way to make a time machine so I could go back in time, but like not our time, like my ancestors' time, so I could just wipe out my whole lineage. Done, you know? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I mean, ditto. Emma. Uh, Emma? No, don't look at him, don't look. Just look at me, just pretend oh. that he's not here. He's right there. No, look at me. Don't just pretend. Can we talk? No, there's nothing to talk about. I just want to try to explain. What? Are you betrayed her? Casey. Casey. I'm sorry for yelling at you, Mr. Harper, my boss. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. No, I, I, no, 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 no. I, I, hey, hey, hey just look at me. Don't. Look, hey. You got this. If you hurt her, I'll kill you, sir. Emma. Emma, I am so sorry. Everyone was laughing at me. You, you humiliated me. I know, I know. They, they asked me that question, they caught me off guard, and I, and I, I panicked. You broke your promise. You told me that you would die with my secrets. I fucked up. I'm so sorry. Do you have any idea how violated I felt? Is it, is it really that bad for people to know the truth about you? Are you kidding me? You haven't told me anything about you. You think that your secrets are more important than mine. No, that's not true. Why don't you tell me what you were doing in Chicago? Why don't you tell me what you were answering all those phone calls for? <sighs> Look, it's really hard for me to trust people, okay? I've been burned a lot. Look, I get that. But I can't be the only one who's being vulnerable in this. I saw Jack. Oh, tell me you didn't go to him. No, he came to me to apologize. What did he say? He said that he fucked up, but he thinks his secrets are more important than mine. Oh, hell no. <laughs> OK, well, what? if they're so important, <laughs> then you got to find out what they are and expose him. I don't know what he's hiding. Maybe he's with another woman. What? Really? Do you think he's with another woman? No, no, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, no. What else would he be hiding? It doesn't matter whether he is or he's not. No, it does matter and you need to get revenge. He needs to pay. I know a guy. What, are you gonna have him whacked? No, he's a tabloid reporter I hooked up with on Tinder. I'll take care of it, you know? 
I can't just tree stand here and watch you suffer. I don't want revenge. I just want closure. That's just another fancy word for revenge. No, it's a different word entirely. <sighs> we need to have that ready for launch in coffee. Good. Nick. Yeah, boss. Can you explain to me why, for the love of God, you would put a coupon ad for Panda Bites in Bowling Monthly Magazine? It was actually, um... Well, I have the numbers, and despite the shit show circulation, they're off the charts. Uh, well, that's great. Good job. It was a bit of a gamble. Okay. But, um, I thought it was time to experiment with a new demographic. Mm. Excellent. Well, it paid off. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry. No, I'm not sorry. That was my idea. That was entirely my idea, Nick. Well, uh, we may have discussed it, but, you, you know, marketing is all about teamwork. It's We're sitting here as a team. It wasn't teamwork. You were gonna ax Panda Bites. I told you I knew we were just marketing to the wrong demo. Because everything is marketed to millennials. You make something cool for the older crowd, they're gonna show up for it. Not bad, Corrigan. Thank you. Nick. Yeah. Don't you ever pass off someone else's idea as your own again. All right. Anything else? So can I have my promotion? You told me that I could have a promotion if I made my own opportunities, and I think that I did that here, and I've put everything into this job, and I think that I've proven myself now, and I think that I deserve a promotion. Fair enough. Alrighty, meeting done. Well, I guess that's what happens when you sleep with a boss. Corrigan, we need to talk. I know Jack Harper to be a decent man. I have one thing to ask you, Corrigan. Was it your choice? Yes. When I met him, I didn't even know he worked here. I think it's important that, that you know that as a woman, you have to work twice as hard as everyone else to be taken seriously. And this is going to make it that much harder. Because everyone's going to assume that everything you get is because you slept with the boss. But you earned it. Okay. Yes. Don't tell anyone I did that. Okay. I got the promotion. See? That's great news. So, Emma, I need to ask you a question. Sure. It's a sex question. Were you always honest with me in that department? Oh, kill me now, God. Connor, I, I'm... Oh, please, I want to learn from my mistakes. Oh, my God. Okay, um, there was that one, like, that one thing that you did with your tongue, like the slidey thing. The slide down or the slide in? The slide, it's both. It's a little bit not in the right spot. You show me what it should look like. What I would imagine, I think, you find the right spot. Right. And then you can also... Oh, nap. with the fingers. Oh. Uh, and then, and then, yeah, yeah, you find the clitoris. And... A bit not... Oh, not the side to side. Not that. That's oh, I like, thought it was fun. bizarre, and was... then you miss the spot. We stuck. <laughs> well... Emma, I believe that you deserve happiness, and I hope that Jack is as generous a lover as I was.
That's clause eight. Let's see. Come on, man. Oh my God, you look amazing. It's so beautiful. Thanks. Where's your outfit? It's backstage. I can't do this. What? I can't do this. I don't want to do this. I don't. I'm. I'm way too nervous. No, everyone feels do this. that way. I feel bad. I feel like I'm gonna throw up and shit. And look, like, it's totally normal. Here, look. Look at the dancing judge. Look, if he can do it, then you can do it. He's really good. Yeah, he is. And so are you. You can do this. Trust me, you can do this. You got this, okay? Uh, I love you. I love you. Emma? What are you doing here? I, um, uh, I saw the flyer you put up at the office. Look, I came here to tell you that you were right. I should have shared a lot more with you. I was in Chicago because I was visiting someone. A girl. A woman. No. No. It's, it's actually um, a little girl. Her name's Alice. She's, um, she's four years old. You have a daughter? No, um, she's my goddaughter. She was Pete's, um. <laughs> She's cute. Yeah. I didn't know that he had a daughter. Yeah, um, nobody really does. We're trying to keep her out of the spotlight. There was a tabloid snooping around, and I had to kill a story. That's your big secret. It doesn't seem like much, but this kid, she means the world to me. And then I just want her to have a normal life. I'm sorry that I didn't tell you. You don't have to be sorry. Look, only a handful of people know about her. A very special, trusted handful. Ladies and gentlemen, the house is now open. I should probably yeah. sit down. Well, thanks. Thanks for keeping this to yourself. I, I know that you knew how important it was to me. So. Yeah, of course. No, it's OK. <laughs> Do you want to maybe watch a bunch of lawyers find their inner artist? <laughs> yeah. 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 Sounds good. Hi, um, so good. Thanks. Thank you for coming. I mean, I totally messed up. I was definitely. Stop. I want to hear you say I was magical because you were magical. Okay, I was. I was magical. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Of course. Oh, I want to take your picture. You look beautiful. Oh, right now. <laughs> Shit, oh. I left my bag. You bag? I'll, I'll get it. Okay, yeah. are you sure? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thanks. What? He came to talk to me. 
Okay. He came to tell me a secret. Okay, what is it? I can't tell you. Emma. I'm sorry, I can't. After all that? I can't. Emma! This is Mick from The Inquirer. If you could just state your name. Okay, can you please leave? There's been, like, a huge misunderstanding. There's... What? Is she Emma Corrigan? Yes, she is Emma Corrigan, and she needs to get back at Jack Harper. You have to... Hi. You have to... You have to leave, like, wait, wait. right now. Don't talk no, yet. Stop. Let me hit record. Yeah. Just tell me everything please, you know about go. Jack Harper. She doesn't no, no, have to no, tell no. you please. anything. America wants to hear this story. Can you go, please? You know, there's a yeah. lot of money to be made. In there's no money to be made. There's the... no story. Jack mm. Harper needs to learn his lesson. Lizzie, please, can you do something? I'm Guys, a... I'm a lawyer. Just go. No, no, go. no, 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 no. Oh, oh. Oh. Mr. Harper, can you confirm that you were on a flight from Chicago with Ms. Corrigan? What's going on? I just want to get She's a She's getting her revenge. Stop it. Is what's going no. on. Jack. Jack, one Stop more question. Stop it. Jack, wait. Wait. So that's why you pressed me on Chicago? No, they don't know anything. You have except, to Except the me. one thing I asked you to keep private. No, Jack. I wonder why look, I don't trust people. I was hurt and I was angry. Emma. You sold my secret. I didn't. I just, no, Jack, please, you have to believe we'll finish me. Finish your interview. Sybil told me you were leaving. I need to tell you something before they send me to my seat. I didn't tell that guy anything. I would never, ever, ever do that. In my whole life, I was based in my value in myself off of what other people thought of me. I completely lost sight of who I was. And then I met you. And I told you everything about me. I told you all of my secrets. And you didn't leave. Even though you knew all of my goofiness and my weirdness and all of my fears and my insecurities, you didn't leave. And I didn't know anything about you. But it didn't matter because I knew your heart. You made me believe that I could be loved just by being myself. You made me believe that the only way to be loved was by being myself. And that is amazing. <clears throat> Excuse me, you're in my seat?
I'm afraid of the dark. Always have been. I, I keep a baseball bat under my bed, just in case. I have a fake tooth. I, I cracked mine trying to open a beer bottle to impress a girl in college. I lost my virginity to a girl named Lisa Greenwood in her uncle's barn. And like a true, true loser, I asked if I could keep her bra as a souvenir. Nice. Do you want to switch seats with me? It's, it's uh, you know, first class. Oh, hell yes. <laughs> All these. Oh, sure. I have always wished that I was two inches taller. Usually when I sit in board meetings, I look around and I think, who the hell are these people? <laughs> I met a girl on a plane. My entire life changed. I'm absolutely, completely in love with her. I got a lot more to tell you. But not all of it's pretty. Just keep talking. 